a bevel here. Yeah. Or just do it. Just go. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Close enough. Oh. 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 Okay. Yeah, three bands is perfect. Yeah. Do you know how much? I know you said 20 holes. I said 20 holes. I know you said 20 holes. I said 20 holes. I didn't do 20 holes. Wait, how many dots? Huh? How many dots? 25 dots. This is 20. No, it's 25, yeah. Yeah! Three! Five! <laughs> As you can see, clap. Clap. <laughs> wow. Alright. 8,000. Let's do that one cover, didn't you? What are you gonna add? Sup? So. Looking promising. Pumps are pretty lit right now. Like, yeah. they're, they're real nutty looking. They just like pumps, you know? We're gonna pressure regulate. There, there could be like three to four pistons on this whole thing, but it works when there's like 10 PSI and it grips pretty hard, so we could pressure regulate these to barely take up any air at all when we use them. So we can be quite liberal with them. But yeah, pretty nutty. It's really, it's a great step forward from the, from the normal tilt design. Okay. Clamp. Clomp. Clomp. Wait, where's the clomp dude? Right. Oh, no, 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 no! We have these pretty sturdy hinges here so that it can take the force. It's gonna be pretty violent flip back to keep this up. Uh, then we have these locks, or whatever you want to call them, clamps. Do that. For the keeps. Clamp is there! Okay, that's actually good. Ideally, the this will be a little higher up, like there. Okay. Yeah. So, sure, can't box. We can finish the box for sure. Okay. So, are you gonna do something on the box? Do you want to do something down here? I really put one of them, right? Two. Wait, where's the? Why the? What the four hats for? We uh one one of the halves doesn't have any time. Two thick ones, two thin ones. Yeah. Or we only have to mean one. Alright. <laughs> so we don't look deep much of the dog, what do we do? At all. Oh! 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 oh that's yeah. That is so disgusting. Wait. Wait, dude, take off all bands. No, Ben. No. no. All bands. Wait, that takes you tight and you can pop it over. Like, also, this should be seven. Should be seven. Seven. It's also missing bands on the left side. Yeah, that's that's what what checking on either. Seven. Yeah, that, that's that's <laughs> positive. Maybe don't wear the hat. We're gonna get We're gonna get banned. We're gonna get banned. Hard for it. As you can see, they can't score because there is a massive wall right here stopping the storage. Uh, we decided that this was the most effective way um, to deploy our wall and have something kind of like a cube boarding system. Um, this is it's going to have a 3.25 3 inch Omni wheels that are powered 1 to 1, um, 100 RPM. Well, they lied to me and they said that the base only needed to be 14. I know, you know, they said it only needed to be 14 across uh, inches. And it actually needs to be around uh, 13. Hits that. And then it slides along. And then. And then. Bam. It'll work something like that. And no one can score oh, when it's here. I am making custom linear slides for the expansion mechanism it's on like, the wall lot. No, I know there's one, I know there's one uh, kid who like... We have more weight we have more weight. Do we have more weight? Oh! Yeah. With the clap. Uh, are we getting 47 so and then again? This is wild. I really want to like not center? have this be that ugly. It is drop center. Wait, I want to say, Uday! 
Yeah. Ude, do you still have differential code? Uh, I didn't see those. You awesome. see here, we've got a differential drive system, which means we can power a lot of other things <laughs> using these two motors, but still have a four motor drive base. Yes. And that is not the only part of the defense, but we've got the whole expanding X drive. That's quite, quite awesome. And we're the base. Here's one half. I'll go the other one with. I'm going to go to the ready. Uh, <laughs> Um, for the end of day one, oh, we basically uh, were effectively able to finish a uh, RD4B um, that's kind of semi-stable right now. We're going to need to add some bracing. Uh, we finished the PTO, which is really nice. Um, and for the defensive robot, we have the wall that's been pretty massively created. It's like an absolute unit. Um, and, but the X-Drive is giving us some problems right now. Um, so, and the differential drive, the difference is made and the drive is made, but we still don't know what we're going to differential to. Okay, that's okay, the end cool. of day one. That's it. Should be a lot narrower, and also, like, it's gonna use. <laughs> it's gonna have to be a more louder. Okay. Yeah. This is a lot narrower. Um, pretty much what we're going to do is make this circuit hole wide, and then have one piston instead of two for each stage. So we save air, we save weight, and we save um, what else? Uh, it like size. Yeah. So there is one problem though. Now that I have this pneumatic running like all the way across, there's not really a way to like brace it, so I have to figure that out. This my hat. Yeah. Hey, where do you file this? Yeah, we have to file it a lot, though. Not, not a lot, but like, it, it needs to be... I love that Go! 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 Oh my god! This is the best song ever! Yes! 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 Do it! 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 Whatever is near and hopefully reasonably priced. Talk about short. Burger King tether wall. It's like it's hitting the other side of the wall. And it's so hard to put. Yeah, I think we're good. 
Elevation. I'm gonna need way more yeah, than that. Yeah, this one's innovate every time. It's a really nice scissor. And what we're doing is we have these little cut 2.75 inch wheels. We have one more. Like we just cut, cut these wheels in half and put them on here. For extra support on the side. Yeah. We cut two wheels in half. These are the thicker ones. These are leftovers. What the heck? Yeah. Messed up. No, never mind. We didn't mess up. Ude! Lift them off <laughs> with his bare teeth. Yeah, and on the other side of the room, we finished our giant scissor. We actually we built the scissor really quickly. Like it was, I think, from 12 to 4, we built the entire 12 to 5. We built the entire scissor. 5, I stayed up. 5 a.m. So 12 a.m. to 5, we built the entire 7 stage scissor. We got we got it math, math padding, backstop. We're gonna mount it on the drive today, hopefully, or tomorrow, okay. early morning, Within like the one o'clock. Within the next 24 hours. Right. Yes. Plus. Very good. I just love the no F's given wheel in the middle. It's so good. It's kind of garbage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sagging your scissor with extra heavy. <laughs> That's gotta be a new one. Uh, what we're working on right now is we decided to do a scissor lift for an X drive with an X drive, which is something that you don't hear usually in decks because those two are like kind of heavily discouraged. But uh, we decided that this was the most effective way um, to deploy our wall and have something kind of like a cube hoarding system. Um, this is it's going to have a three three point two five inch Omni wheels that are powered one to one one hundred RPM. Um, and the problems that were arising right now is that there's a lot of like slack on the scissor lift itself um, and that's causing the x-drive to not bend, not go straight um, and not go backwards just uh, or strafe even um, because that's going to be a little bit um, of an issue uh, and we're working on just fixing that slot by adding half cut 2.75 inch omni wheels in it um, now uh, as for the uh, other robot, what's happening right now is that the uh, we made even though we made the base around 35 holes wide, um, the lift seems to be a little bit too compact for our clamping system uh, with our pneumatics. So what we're uh, planning on doing is uh, trying to fix the spacing on the clamping system itself by opting into a new clamp, which um, is going to be through linear slides um, and pistons instead of just a, a non-linear four bar um, that allows us to only use one piston and around, effectively three PSI for clamping instead of um, our old me mechanism. And this also allows us to be very, very compact uh, because the four bar extends out when it needs to clamp in, but um, uh, when it needs to clamp out and the linear slide does not need to do that. Um, that's pretty much it for most robot progresses, but um, it's been, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, cool, cool. Tonight, I'm gonna have myself a real good time. I feel alive. And the world, I'm turning inside out. Yeah. I'm floating around in ecstasy. So don't stop.
Yeah. Excuse me, Andre. No. Uh, 